Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're building a very special device because it means quite a lot to me because of the condition that the city I live in is usually faced up with uh, in winter and that is air pollution. So we're building an air quality monitor using the SDS-011 PM2.5 particle sensor as well as an addition of a microphone to measure noise levels and the BMX 680 temperature, humidity and pressure sensor all together on an old MCU to package it up and have the data in a single console. The data gathering and everything connected with the sensor, it's powered by the a platform called Pulse.Echo and you can check it out. There will be links down in the video description. And that's a platform that some friend of mine's built as a proof of concept. And you have all of the details, how you can construct the sensor, how you can do the wiring and what everything that you need that you can find there. The platform gathers data from sensors just like this one that people can build in their own city to monitor the current levels of the air quality. And I'm currently being as a community leader for my town. This is my first sensor that I'm building and adding and hopefully we can add more to the network so we can identify the sources of pollution and maybe trigger some response from the authorities about it. The way this works, the Pulse.Echo platform provides a firmware that you can upload directly to the Node MCU so there is no coding uh, required. And then based on the schematic, you connect the microphone to the analog sensor along with the 100k and 220k resistors in series uh, then you have the bme uh, 680 sensor that you connect to pins d1 and d2 and it's being powered from 3.3 volts and finally you have the nova pm sds 011 sensor that is connected to pin d5 and d6 and because i didn't have the appropriate cable i just soldered wires directly to the pins required so you can see we are using 5 volt and ground and also rx and tech so it's a serial communication that uh, is happening while this one is using i square c once you have the device ready you need to upload the firmware and you need to specify the device key so it knows and your Wi-Fi uh, credentials so it knows to connect to the network and also knows to uh, present itself to the Pulse.Echo network. Uh, I've done all of that and I've tested the device to see that it properly works. So I was able to pull in some data uh, using the provided REST API and I can confirm that the device is working. Now, because everything sits on a breadboard and it's not really stable, I want to transfer this to one of my PCBs that I've uh, created, one of my prototyping PCBs that I've created. I'll have links to them down in the video description. And once we transfer that, we can put everything in a junction box and put it outside and have it in the upcoming winter. So let's jump to soldering this to the uh, breadboard and then we can mount it outside.
And here is the final version of the device completed. We have everything soldered to the prototyping board. And in a hindsight, we could have just used the Node MCU to solder directly to it or solder header and connect the wires. But I think that this will be more sturdy. Now, the goal is to have everything mounted in an um, electrical box where I pre drilled two holes for mounting and I also removed all of the tabs that were on the box. This is a slightly different box from what I've used before, but it will still work with the PCB. And to power the whole thing constantly, I'm going to use uh, an old mobile phone charger that I confirmed works on 5 volts. And I've soldered pin headers to the end of the wires and I also soldered female pin headers on the PCB so I can connect and disconnect and I could take out the device from the electrical box in a case if I need to. So to mount the sensors, I will use hot glue and I will first mount it, uh, mount the particle sensor to the bottom of the electrical box and I would stuff all of the other sensors around it. So hopefully we can go later on and mount it outside where I think it's going to be a good location. Okay, so that's the sensor in place and that should be securely enough. Next, I'll add the board, but before that, I'll glue a piece of cardboard to the bottom side of the PCB. So with that, I could provide some extra electrical separation in case there is an issue and some of the components touch because we don't want that now let's stuff everything in making sure to get all of the wires out of the way okay that should be enough and i'll also add a few drops of hot glue just to keep everything in place okay so the glue is just dry enough i've added a piece of electrical tape to the temperature and humidity sensor and i'm just gonna tuck it in here in the corner Maybe also use a drop of glue just to make everything secure inside the box. That way it's going to have an open access to the air so it can circulate and measure the right thing. The inlet, it's really important that the inlet of the particle sensor is not blocked so it can draw air from... Uh, from the outside and also the outlet should be free as well. And I'm gonna use this one just to have clear circulation. The whole sensor will be mounted under a balcony so there is no risk of getting it wet, but it should be in a dry place and it shouldn't be too high. So anywhere between two and three stories should be fine. Anywhere higher than that, probably not. And I'm gonna route the power wire from one of the holes and then connect it here to the uh, connector and we should be good to go. The sound sensor will just leave here in the corner. I won't glue that up because I need access to the corner so I can screw this one uh, onto the wall. The actual installation is fairly simple because I just used two screws to screw the electrical box really close to uh, source of power that I already had there and inside the distribution box that was next to the uh, sensor I also wired up uh, an outlet so I can plug in the uh, phone charger that I was using to charge the uh, the sensor. It is important when you install your sensor that the area that you choose is covered and protected by the rain because we don't want the electronics to get wet 
So I chose mine to be under a balcony of mine. In any case, no matter what happens, this should be protected from the rain, unless there is like a really heavy wind, but then it should be only a minor thing, so it shouldn't matter. So with that, the sensor is now active and relaying data to the Pulse.Echo network. And hopefully with that, we can have a better understanding of the current situation of the air pollution in the town. The Pulse.Echo platform is available anywhere in the world. So if you want to build your own sensor and plug in data for your own city, then you're more than welcome to do so. I'll have linked to everything down below in the video. And just to add some context on how this data can be used further on with the home automation systems, is through the REST API where you can pull data and then do triggers on whatever you like. Like for example, I could get notifications when the air is not good outside so I can close the windows. I can automatically start the air cleaner that I have in my house whenever the pollution outside is uh, higher than it should be. And I plan to implement all of this in my home automation system. So if you're interested to see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel because it means a lot and it gives me motive for making further videos. With all that being said, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.